The whole film seems to build to that moment when it's just two people in a tin can, you know, that's four feet across and one of them's going to die. <laughs> It was very, very tough on Mary Elizabeth because if you think about what she was going through that day, she was sopping wet. She was exposed physically. She's got Ed Harris pounding on her chest because, you know, he's a real method actor and he's not going to kind of like fake it. And she's lying on a freezing cold grill for, you know, I don't know, several hours. Clear? Come on, baby, you are crazy. And also because of the fact that Jim's a perfectionist. <laughs> he wants it over and over and over again, and he wants particular things physically and visually. Whether Jim planned that or not, it certainly was the situation, was the world that he created, which was you guys are going to do this and do this and do this and do this and do this, and, do this and then you're not, you're not going to know where you are, who you are, except the fact that your mission is to save this woman's life. Come on! There was a lot of tension uh, on the set, but, it, but you know, that's natural for that, that type of scene. And I think that that energy is, is in the scene. You see it. And I'll never forget this one take. We are, we're doing it, and everything is just going incredibly well, and we can feel it. And uh, we hear Mikhail Solomon say, out of film, the, the camera ran out on this take. And she heard that, and she just, like, freaked. She just said, hey, man, we are not animals. I don't know what you're doing here, but we are not animals. She runs off the set. And you know, I was like, who could blame her? You know, I was like, who could blame her? It was months of, of hardship and uh, frustration exploding, you know, in a, in a moment for her. Uh, and everybody f felt for her, certainly. You know, Jim was pretty speechless because he knew she had every right to feel the way she was feeling, but didn't know what to say to her, you know. <laughs>